Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Last time I was telling you that we are going to uh, study kinematics. As I told you that kinematics is the branch of uh, mechanics which deals with study. This case we are not concerned with the force we are only going to study the motion of the body like speed velocity and acceleration these things will be discussed in this case first of all you must be aware the aware of the concept of distance distance basically here i have written the conceptual definition of the distance length between two points you can say just uh, how you will uh, uh, define distance it's up to you so here for the sake of convenience i have told you that the distance basically is the length between two points for example if there are two points let's say a point a and this is the point b so if you are going to find out the distance between these two point points then obviously you will have to measure the length between these two points for example if i have a ruler then i will have to place this ruler ruler like this to measure the length okay uh well everybody can hear me inshallah now displacement Uh, somebody told me some fake names so i will have to remove this these fake names i am removing them these fake names bilurani has gone so actually during the lecture i cannot see that who are the participants and uh, uh, while taking the attendance i can see at that time otherwise my lecture will be disturbed thank you so much who has told me so everyone has already been told that uh, you must come with your real names and section that which section you are although i know that it is ninth class o levels but the section may be written okay uh, well so distance between uh, length is the base, uh, distance is the length between two points the si unit for distance is meter and meter is a uh, scalar quantity okay, please concentrate here instead of writing uh, irrelevant questions please concentrate to the the length between two points okay well the next thing which uh, I am going to discuss is the displacement. Actually, the displacement is a very basic concept which you must learn. Displace, the meaning displace means you are changing the place of a thing. For example, for example, I have an eraser. Eraser is lying at point A. Now I am going to displace this eraser. You know that if I am going to displace this body, then obviously it have to move in a certain direction. Without the reference of direction, we cannot move a body. We cannot displace a body unless until you have to take a direction. Like whether you are going to right or left, up or down or any of the direction so basically displacement is the shortest distance move between two points directed from one point to another okay so here my i am going to move this eraser from point a to point b this is the shortest distance between a and b so i have moved in a straight line so this shortest distance is moved it is called displacement because I have displaced mean I have changed the place of this eraser from A to B. And remember this, whenever there is displacement, there must be a direction. Now again, look at if I am going to displace it from B to A again, I am going to move it like this. I have displaced again from B to A. 
I am talking about displacement, then remember, I could also go from A to B while moving first of all here, and then here, then here, and then here, and a longer route can also be taken to go to B. Instead, I chose a route A to B directly. So this shortest distance from A to B is quantity now you must be aware that what are the vector quantities and what are the scalar quantities okay so vector are uh, vector are those quantities which have magnitude as well as direction we will discuss in detail we we will discuss in detail inshallah that what are vector and scalars but here I am telling you precisely that what are the vector quantity basically vector are the those quantities. For example, if you go to the shop and ask the shopkeeper that give me one kg sugar or two kg sugar or five kg sugar etc so this five is the magnitude and kg is the unit because the unit for mass is kg in the same way if i ask you how much time do you take to sleep so you can say five hour or six hour or ten hours so these 10 hours or 5 hours or 6 hours, basically 5, 6 or 10, these are the magnitude. And along with it, you are going to tell me hours. R is the unit for time. Okay. I hope the difference between vector and scalar is clear to you. So remember this vector, are those, scalars are those in which direction is not required. Listen to me carefully because I am looking at some students who are writing the questions, please. Uh, don't write questions unless when I am uh, speaking something now. So please concentrate to my words. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand. Okay. Well, so vectors are those in which direction is given. Like if I am moving this eraser from A to B. So A to B is the direction. From the point A to the point B, I am moving this eraser it means its direction is given okay so the distance between a to b as i told you that can be measured with the help of the ruler suppose if i play this is almost five centimeter this distance as i measured five centimeter this distance i measure from a to b is five centimeter so distance is equal to five centimeter if i say that what is the displacement of the eraser when it is moving from a to b so what you will have to write so displacement displacement is equal to five centimeter from A to B. Here, two things are included. One is the magnitude and its unit. Okay. Five centimeter basically is the scalar quantity. This is the direction from A to B. So, whenever you are writing displacement, it means you have to tell that what is the direction. If you are not telling the direction like a to b it means you are only telling that distance you can see that distance is five centimeter between a and b it is obvious that if you are going to measure the distance between a and b it is five centimeter but if i displace this eraser from point a to point b so it means this eraser has been moved it this eraser has been moved from a to b so this is very important this is the direction this a to b 
is direction. So remember this, in the case of vector, you have to mention the directions also. Uh, now let me see that what are the questions of the students. In the meanwhile, I'll only talk about the uh, relevant question. Well, okay, okay. Someone is saying me, asking me that please explain vector and scalars again. So please listen to me again that vectors are those quantities which required direction for their complete specification. For complete description, for their complete description, if direction is required, like here I gave you the direction also that the eraser has been moved from A to B. It means, first of all, I have to mention its distance, and with this distance, I have to mention the direction also. So, so with the distance, when I am telling that direction also from A to B, so it means I am giving a vector quantity. If simply I say that the length between A and B is five centimeter, it means I am going to tell you the distance only. So I told you that the vector quantities direction is required and in the scalar quantities the in which direction is not required, like I gave you the examples of scalar quantities, mass, time, temperature, current, so these are the examples of scalar quantities because in the case of mass, you don't need any direction. In the case of time, you don't need any direction. In the same way, if you are required to find out the area, area simply you just have to tell me that how much area is this. So you don't need to mention the direction. In the same way, volume, density, these all are the scalar quantities in which the direction is not required okay very good thank you so much now we are coming to the next definition which is speed speed basically you already aware i think so from class five onwards you must be you will be studying distance covered in a unit time the formula of speed is well known to you speed is equal to distance over time so we can mention speed with v I have given many examples of scalar quantities, but I think so you were sleeping. Whoever is asking me the example of scalar quantity, I don't know why he was sleeping at that time. Please wake up, okay? During the class, you must be present mentally also. I told you that mass, time, area, volume, density, these are all are the scalar quantities. On the other hand, the vector quantities are displacement, velocity, which we will discuss later, later inshallah. Now, uh, whenever I'll define a thing, I'll tell you inshallah that which is a scalar and which is a vector quantity. So here I told you that displacement is a vector quantity because direction is required to be mentioned, okay. So speed is not a vector quantity. Remember this, speed is only the ratio of distance and time. It's distance covered in a unit time. Normally authors, uh, uh, normally, normally authors represent speed with V. V is equal to S over T. S stands for not speed, but distance. So forget it uh, uh, whether you are representing speed, uh, distance with S or speed with v it doesn't matter but only you must remember the formula that speed is equal to distance over time remember this that speed is equal to distance over time okay so speed is a scalar speed is a scalar quantity and its unit is kilometer per hour or meter per second, simply to say. It is a very simple thing. So please don't make yourself confused. Confused, okay? Now next thing which I am going to explain you is the constant or uniforms or study speed. If I say 
that the constant speed i have uploaded these notes students uh, yesterday night i have already uploaded these notes on admodo so you can see okay you can see those notes these all notes i have uploaded okay thank you so much those who have copied so constant or uniform speed basically if a body now listen to me carefully if this definition uh, uh, may not be visible to you i am reading so constant or uniform or steady speed if a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time its speed is uniform now if i am saying that if a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time what does it mean for example let us have an example of the same constant speed or here i have drawn a table actually i am making that table here for example here it is time and this is distance in meters and speed in meters per second for example when the time was zero distance is zero so speed is also zero when the time is one second i am taking time in seconds when the time is one second and the body is covering 10 meters the distance is taken in meters and time i am taking in seconds i have mentioned in brackets meters and seconds so its speed is equal to distance over time so 10 over 1 gives you 10 meter per second okay in the next second in the next becomes 20 it means 20 over 2 distance because 20 is the distance and 2 is the time again you can see that the speed is 10 meter per second in the same way third second on the third second the distance covered is 30 so speed obviously distance divided by time is equal to 10 meter per second it it means simply to say that in equal intervals of time equal change in the distance has occurred for for each one second you can see that 10 meters distance has been covered for each second 10 meter distance has been covered so this is an example of constant or uniform speed or you can say study speed okay these are the words which can be used for constant uniform or study speed well now the second thing is non-uniform speed let us discuss that what is a non-uniform speed if i am talking about the non-uniform speed if a body does not cover equal distances in equal intervals of time if the body does not cover equal distances in equal intervals of time the body moves with non-uniform speed here i can show you the table which i have already drawn for you uh, distance zero and speed is zero ten divided by one gives you ten meter per second in the next second 30 meters distance is covered so obviously distance divided by time 30 divided by 2 gives you 15 meter per second so here you can see that previously in the previous second the speed was 10 meter per second but in the next second the speed has become 15 meter per second now in the third second the speed uh, the distance covered is 15 meters so 15 divided by 3 gives you 5 meter per second in the fourth second the distance covered is 80 so 80 divided by 4 gives you 20 meters per second so here you can see that speed is not constant for each next second for each next second the distance covered is changing for example if you are not uh, you are traveling um, in a congested in within the city then you can um, whenever you are traveling in your car in a city then you have to slow down your car sometime you have to speed up your your car so your speed will not be steady throughout your journey but whenever you are going on motorway etc or a straight road 
without any hindrances so you will observe that speed may remain constant okay i hope this is very simple concept of non uniform speed and uniform speed now let me see that what the questions are actually few students have written some question okay 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 uh actually some students uh, i i can see that my visibility from other network is clear uh there is a student who is uh, saying that the pixelated and not clear i don't know why i think so musa uh, your in network problem may be there okay as i can see from my laptop it is clear acha somebody is writing that moved east from or a to b can be written like this yes direction can also be written like east to west or south to north in the case of displacement for example if i am taking that direction direction is like this oh sorry this is north this is south okay if i am writing direction like this and i say that there is a point a which has moved from a to b it mean it is moving towards east okay it's on the uh, depends on the question that what type of question is and what directions are given okay if east west south north etc are given then obviously you have to give the direction with reference to these four references okay as you uh, study in geography etc well now next thing is average speed what is average speed average speed is the total distance covered divided by total time whenever the average speed is required you have to see the total distance covered so symbolically whatever we can write don't uh, bother about this symbolical representation because in physics different authors may use different symbols sometime uh, authors uh, represent speed with like this so please don't get confused with these representation only you must be aware of these formulae okay that the average speed is total distance covered divided by total time what is velocity also average as you know that speed is a scalar quantity so obviously the average speed will also be a scalar quantity uh those who uh, want that i must repeat the uh, wordings so please remember that inshallah i'll upload this lesson uh, on the on edmodo and its link will also be available on youtube inshallah so if you want anything to be repeated so instead of repeating anything uh, my time will be saved if you will watch it again on edmodo from edmodo you can watch it again why we teachers are doing like that so that any student who cannot pick a point he or she can listen and watch it again and again to have better understanding so it is better for you instead of wasting the time of the whole class uh, if a thing has been explained explained uh, before mm -hmm. so you can watch it from edmodo again it is available till 8 pm on the very day and if its link is on youtube then so you can also uh, make maximum benefit from that also okay average speed as i told you that the total is uh, 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 sorry first of all velocity velocity basically rate of change of displacement per unit time remember this velocity is rate of change of displacement per unit time or there is another definition of velocity which i am going to write for you that what is velocity remember this velocity is uh, right you may write it down velocity velocity speed in a given direction speed in a given direction it mean if with the speed it mean with the speed when direction is also given 
then that combination will become velocity okay for example your car is moving with the speed of 80 kilometer per hour towards east this full combination is called velocity if i am telling only 80 kilometer per hour this will be speed this is the speed okay and this towards east is direction so the combination of these two gives you the name velocity so in addition to speed when the direction is also given it becomes velocity so if the direction is given then obviously it is a vector quantity first of all i would like to take the attendance of the students and then i'll come to the questions because that is also very important to take your questions okay i have seen that few students have written some questions so i am also going towards questions okay so please remember that velocity is a vector quantity because in the case of velocity you must be aware of the direction okay well now what is the question is uh, sir for velocity we need to have displacement and time both yes obviously obviously uh, we can also write that velocity is equal to velocity is equal to displacement displacement over time okay so remember this if i am talking about displacement as i told you earlier that displacement is already a vector quantity displacement is a vector quantity so in this combination the numerator is a vector quantity and denominator is a scalar quantity so combining with these two quantities we got velocity so obviously due to this displacement the velocity has become a vector quantity remember this whenever you are writing this formula you have to write displacement not distance because speed is distance divided by time okay well guys uh, i hope that yeah, this concept uh, um this concept has uh, let me see that one question a student has written i'm uh, reading that question uh, one student has uh, written that so numerator is always vector and denominator is scalar no bache it may be any whether numerator or denominator we are not concerned with it actually i am just going to please concentrate on this fact that velocity is the combination of two quantities displacement and time due to displacement it has become a vector quantity okay only uh, try to understand the basic things don't uh, make yourself confused with uh, those things which are not uh, concerned with us okay well the next thing is acceleration these are the definitions which you you will have to learn guys this will be your homework that everyone must learn these definitions okay uh, because uh, if you will not understand uh, you will not learn these definitions along with the formula then next time in the next class we won't be able to apply them to solve our numericals if i'll give you any numerical then you will have to solve those numericals with the help of the formulas which i have discussed now well now come to acceleration now listen to me carefully accelerate whenever you are talking about acceleration it mean it is change in velocity remember this acceleration is also a vector quantity okay acceleration is rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity okay so acceleration is rate of change of velocity so acceleration a is equal to velocity over 
time again you can see in the numerator i have written a vector quantity divided by a scalar quantity so the unit for acceleration there is a common question which is uh, asked normally that the unit of acceleration unit of velocity is meter per second or kilometer per hour with direction with direction okay remember this whenever we are talking about the unit of velocity meter per second or kilometer per hour and direction is necessary okay in the same way in the case of velocity if we are talking about velocity then the unit for velocity is meter per second over again the time is uh, calculated in seconds now you can see that these two seconds will multiply with each other they will not cancel each other if you are aware of mathematical uh, ratio solution then you must be aware that it is meter over second multiply by second this is your mathematical work you must be aware so this unit will be meter per second square so the unit unit of acceleration remember that it is meter per second square i have explained you this is the unit for velocity is meter per second and the unit for time is second when i am shifting this uh, if you are considering it like this now for example i am explaining this how it has become meter per second square look here con uh, with concentration meter per second divided by second okay meter per second divided by this is this denotes divided by a second so we can also write meter per second this division sign when changed to multiplication you know that this fraction after the division the fraction can changes numerator to denominator like this so it will become m meter over second multiplied by second it is second square so that is why the unit for acceleration is meter per second square i am explain i have explained this so please don't ask me again and again because normally i have found that a student ask me again and again that why this unit is meter per second square so please remember if you have any question regarding meter per second square you can watch this video again and again to make yourself clear okay so i uh, now i think so our time is going to over we have done the acceleration azadi mubarak all of you allah taala azad rakhe pakistan ko pakistan zindabad inshallah pray for our pakistan aap logo ko dua karni chahiye pakistan ke liye kyunki aap logo ne mehnat karke pakistan ko ek azad country rakhne ki koshish karni hai wo aap logo ki mehnat ke upar hai inshallah allah pak hame hamesha azad rakhe aur pakistan ko hamesha abad rakhe आमीन सुमामीन